and here is our last pa part of this uh, course. As I said before, I'm going to work with uh, plugins which are really uh, important um, uh, with our work in our work with Photoshop. Uh, some people don't use them, and I think it's really huge mistake to not use uh, plugins. As, um, uh, but I think they're getting uh, really popularized at the moment, so more and more people are using plugins. I'm not saying we have to use all of them at the moment, but uh, some of them are really helpful in our work. They can um, help us uh, making really great uh, compositions. Um, only with Photoshop it would be really difficult to um, create the final results uh, we really want to. It it, sometimes it's difficult to get the details we want in Photoshop, the colors we want only in Photoshop. Of course, it is possible, but the plugins makes our work uh, just easier. Uh, and it's nothing wrong to make our work works easier. If I have to choose only one plugin, um, which I need to my work, is I have. If I have to choose one plugin I want to work with. Uh, it's Topaz Details. For me, it's the best plugin and the price is not really high. As I know, it's uh, $39. Uh, so the price, it's really low and believe me, this $39 will come back uh, very quick after you will buy uh, Topaz Details. So right now I'm going to work with plugin, I'm going to work with uh, topaz details to get some really fantastic effect to make this image which looks really great at the moment looks even better than this <clears throat> as you can see we went through a few steps we built our background foreground with dutch <clears throat> and built our, our image we add some lightning effects and some um we did some color gradient in uh photoshop uh, as you can see which were really which was really helpful as you can see we have really nice warm uh, a little bit mysterious color but we have to uh, do something to increase our effect to enhance and uh, the color on this image to bring up some details from this image and makes this picture looks really awesome and professional as i said before uh, the quality of uh, this image uh, was medium but with working with topaz details we can make even from uh, bad quality image really high quality uh, picture so right now i'm going to do my final edit using topaz details and let me uh, say a few words about this um, plugin and let's work together so before i start uh, with uh, working with my plugin I have to uh, create a stamp on the top. As always, when we add in some plugins, we have to create a stamp, um, which would be, uh, which is highly recommended, of course. Um, uh, so press Control. Uh, I'm sorry, Alt, Control, Shift, and E to create a stamp. If you're working on Mac, of course, Alt, Command, Shift, and E. I'm going to call this layer Final. And as I said before, every time when we want to add uh, some kind of effects, uh, it's really great uh, to create um, convert this layer to smart object, which uh, gives us opportunity to edit this uh, layer every time we want. As you can see, I did the same thing. Uh, I convert this layer to smart object when I was adding lightning effects. And the same thing we have to do when we want to add some plugin. So click right, convert to smart object. And if you have Topaz details, of course, you can use some other plugins if you want. But um, for me, Topaz details is the best. If you never try, just download uh, this uh, plugin for 30 days for free to try. And believe me, you won't be disappointed. So click filter, then Topaz Labs and Topaz Detail 3. That's the newest version of Topaz Details. And to say a few words about uh, this, as you can see Topaz Details as every uh, plugins have some collections which we can use straight away 
and our work would be done. Uh, but I'm a huge fan of working, um, of doing everything on my own, and I think most of you wants to do everything on our own to polish our work um, to the uh, really great uh, result. As you can see, we have creative detail collection, highlight detail collection, shadow detail collection, smooth collection, as well as stylized detail collection. As you can see, if you are lazy, you always can click, um, for example, overall details trunk and just one click and our work uh, looks really great. Uh, we have these fantastic details, fantastic lights, but as I said before, you can you can try all of them, but that, that's not the point of manipulations. Manipulations has to be perfect. We have to work on every detail. So I'm going to uh, reset all of the settings and as you can see we have um, some options like overall shadow and highlights and of course the most important um, for me is overall because uh, that's our main details on the whole picture so I'm going to work uh, mainly in overall but of course there's few things to do in shadow and highlights as well I'm going to skip small details as small details are not really necessary I think and basically if we would increase small details as you can see it's quite distractive um, that picture is going to look very gritty if we um, want to play with small details it doesn't look well so that's why I'm not a huge fan of um, small details and the thing I can say um, I want this picture really smooth, smooth, nice, uh, strong details. So I'm going to take down small details a little bit, um, not too much. It's hard to notice, but um, I can be sure that my work uh, will won't be uh, gritty. I will get all the details. Uh, I will bring up all the details, but my picture still will be smooth. So let's start now with medium details. I'm going to work with medium and large details, that's uh, the, ma the main part. I'm going to bring up medium details up to 0 0.90 and as you can see, you can notice that little difference over here, um, little difference on the mountains as well. So let's boost these details as well, but not too much, because if we will boost our details too much, just si simply speaking, it won't look natural, so we have to uh, keep the balance work with details but have a uh, control on this as we don't want uh, to destroy our work of course large details which are the most important for me i'm going to bring up to around 25 and as you can see that's the most important because uh, the grass from the from the front of the image legs of our model are really detailed and it looks really great for me i love uh, large details let's boost large details as well a little bit and i'm really happy as you can see it looks really detailed but still everything looks very natural so let's go to shadows um shadow to work a little bit and we have this um parts in shadows and to make this picture looks a little bit more expensive um impressive i'd like to um take down uh, some uh, details maybe to make it a little uh, blurry but of course um, as I said before we have to be really careful so I'm going to take medium details down from shadows uh, just a little bit um, the difference is small but uh, that's my choice and I think it's uh, right to work with this and then go to highlights as you can see uh, here is the area of our highlights and there is some parts um, I think I'd like to bring up uh, some details from uh, these parts. Maybe large details in shadows uh, down uh, a little bit. And now let's go to our highlights. And as you can see, this area uh, could be maybe a little bit more detailed. And as you can see, most of the details would be medium uh, from uh, this area so as well as before bringing up some medium details on this area bust a little bit as well and there you go i think now it looks uh, really really interesting of course be careful don't bring up too much 
because as I said before, we of course don't want to destroy this this image and our work. Okay, uh, now let's work a little bit with um, tones. Um, the one thing is um, this picture was really uh, happy and uh, sunny before I started uh, to work uh, with this and of course uh, as I wanted we add some mysterious color, uh, some fantasy elements and it looks a little bit dark and mysterious now and to keep the balance it would be nice to bring up uh, some elements to not make this image too scary. So I'm going to work um, a little bit with this but of course I'm going to bring some lines but just a little bit to not destroy um, this image. Highlights area it's quite okay for me but anyway I'm going to bring up some whites to not make this picture too yellow too fakey as well I'm going to bright some uh, black parts some dark parts because uh, I think these shadows which I make made in lightning effects looked really well but it makes these areas a bit too dark so thanks to Topaz details we can do really perfect corrections in this uh, software and now it looks um, bright and nice in my opinion of course I don't want to add too much don't want to destroy anything and the way it looks right now I'm really happy about the uh, result I don't want to bring uh, whites too much as I'm scared uh, to destroy this mountains a little bit so let's go down and here we have tones uh, cyan red mag uh, magenta green and yellow blue let's work with every as you can see there's small difference about tones on this picture so decided which tones you want to tones you want to bring and uh, there you go i look on the girl what i want more There you go. Then we go in down to color. And I recommend you to be really careful in this uh, mode because um, if we bring up too much temperature, it looks um, well, maybe it looks interesting for some of the people, but it looks um, just too fakey. So, of course, if we want to add some temperature, of course, um, you can make this cold as well, but it's not suitable for uh, this image. If you want to add some temperature, just 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 be careful to not make this image uh, too yellowish, make this soft, um, nice um, and nice yellowish color, but of course, uh, be really careful about this. The same about tint, but I don't think I have much to do. In this case and there you go uh, that's my um, basic settings in Topaz details that's the uh, settings I use that the tools I'm working on with every with most of the manipulations I, I'm doing and at the moment when I look at the picture I can see the colors I'm happy with I can see the details I'm happy with as well as I see contrast I'm happy with. Of course, don't forget to find uh, the uh, settings uh, properties uh, you feel uh, the best, you feel the most comfortable with and settings you think are the best for your work. After we finish, simply click apply. It will take a while, of course, as our project um, is not a small project anymore. It's quite big and after apply, press OK it's going to take us a little bit or actually it's already applied and as you see it's like difference is just fantastic we have this fantastic 
uh, strong details, mysterious photo, it looks a little bit windy, not too dark, but of course not too bright, it's dark enough to make this picture uh, really mysterious. So to keep everything in order, I'm going to press Ctrl and G as before, and I'm going to call this group final. So the last thing it's left uh, to do, I want to show you a picture we started with um, to compare uh, where uh, we got right now to the point we've got right uh, we got. Uh, now to show you the difference uh, and progress we've made. I'm going to find the stock image I start with. I'm going to adjust the size of course. And just move this to this project. And just have a look. Uh, that's the picture we started with. As I said before, it's not perfect picture. We can zoom it. Um, as you see, the quality is medium, I would say. And now just uh, have a look on our final result. And the words describe, um, I can say, wow, I'm really happy about the result I've got. It's huge difference. The pictures look uh, totally different. And what's the most important, I hope you found in this course uh, the thing you were looking for. You found the way to create your own uh, photo composing, to create your own uh, breathtaking images. Um, and what can I say? Uh, thank you for being with me. Uh, as I said, I hope you found the thing you were looking for. I hope this course was helpful for you. And... Thank you once again for watching.